Every single day on Unboss, as you know, we talk about Brittany Griner. We remind you to lift her up, to lift her family up, how we must not relent. We have to keep pressure on to bring her home, to support her family on social media, however you can. We know that there are some people working behind the scenes, both the government and others working to try to bring her home. So we have an update. So the clock continues to tick as Brittany Griner suffers in a Russian penal colony. And for the love of all things good, please bring her home. Take a look at this headline, Brittany Griner facing terrible life at remote penal colony in Russia. So a description of a typical day and living conditions at that penal colony as written by David in the Los Angeles Times. The inmates at IK2 Penal Colony rise at 6 a.m. each day for a breakfast of milk porridge, bread, and tea. Soon they leave their barracks at this aging facility about 300 miles southeast of Moscow in the isolated Republic of Mardovia. That is a typical day in the morning. And David goes on, long days are spent in forced labor working as sewing machines with only a short break for lunch. By nightfall, prisoners are fed dinner and allowed an hour or less of free time before going to sleep in dormitories crowded with scores of bunk beds. The routine reportedly can stretch for weeks on end with no days off. The reporting goes on, it is unclear if one of the newest arrivals, American basketball star Brittany Griner, will take part in this strict regiment or receive special treatment. But experts familiar with the criminal justice system in Russia paint a worm sun picture. I cringe to even call it any type of justice at all, Francesca. No, absolutely it's not. And and what's you know so important to remember is that this is a penal colony where um, people are sentenced for the same kinds of minor crimes or non-existent crimes that Brittany herself was sentenced for. So um, there is a lot of solidarity and there has to, this has to be an understanding of what happens under a totalitarian type government that does not care uh, about the most minor infractions. And yes, the United States has its own um, completely unjust criminal system, criminal justice system in heavy quotation marks. but this is the future that Republicans want for this country. They want, oh, a little bit of hash oil in your uh, in a vape pen. Oh, go go to a penal colony. We'll get some free labor out of you, right? We have to remember that they idolize someone like Vladimir Putin for these kinds of policies. So I'm sure Brittany's in there with other people who have, you know, I don't know, stolen a loaf of bread, spoken out about Vladimir Putin, right? Like small things like that. Um, but you know, I know you've talked about this, but you can't. You cannot talk about this story without imagining what would happen if LeBron <laughs> were were in a penal colony, right? Like 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 if an, a male NBA player, if a you know a white prisoner, if a male prisoner, just like just all the different permutations of privilege that would enable someone to probably get out of this situation a lot faster than Griner is. No, you are exactly right, and yes, as we have talked about this story time and time again. We remind our viewers that one of the reasons why she went to Russia anyway is because of the income disparity between NBA players and WNBA players forcing our women players to go overseas to try to make extra money. One of the reasons why she is there. And we have a university professor from Texas weighing in on the conditions that are there. And let's put up what she had to say. And Uh, Professor Marina, she said her life will be very difficult. It will be terrible. And she is an expert on uh, the Russia uh, prison system. Now among Russia's hundreds of prisons, the 21 facilities clustered in Mordovia are especially notorious. Russia Behind Bars, a humanitarian group based in Moscow, alleges that labor conditions at the IK2 violate national law. Medical care is limited and substandard food provides little substance, especially during long cold or substance, uh, substance, excuse me, especially during long cold winters. So this is really a sad situation and we are going to continue to update you on what is happening to 
Brittany Reiner. Again, you can show your support. It doesn't take a whole lot. The family has asked, and they asked this months ago, that if you utilize social media, hashtag we are BG, that mm. is we are BG. We will continue to let you know every single day what is happening to Brittany Griner. Let's bring her home.